this? Around the back area here, you'll see a little white tubular section, and that's actually the tunnel itself. The controls for the tunnel are up there. We control the Mach number down here. Engineers that show up. What do you think is going to happen when I submerge it in the liquid nitrogen? Yep, it's going to shrink. So essentially, what's happening? And you guys to hear it boiling. Hey, hey, hey. Thank you. Watch that. shift some of my ballast blocks over, I can get it to balance just right. Normally it's very hard to do. Okay, so you saw you got it to balance. Yeah. So we ballast it with thousands of pounds of ballast. We're, we're finding water. This is a prospector. It's going to be end of 2018. NASA 501, that's Back here, and it, it's, that's a UND aircraft, and uh, we're testing the and that these things are being. Wait, 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 no. All right, thank you, sir. Right here, it's kind of kind of inflating. So we have this thing called a press like a balloon. So, I mean, that's how the whole thing. The big day has finally arrived. This is kind of the uh, one of the capstone events to, to wrap up the centennial, and um, I just can't say how pleased I am to see all of you here today. Certainly, there are a lot of smart people around, but the Langley Research Center team figure out how to take just knowledge and intelligence and actually apply it to innovative new solutions on how to further human exploration of space. Really neat, not many uh, organizations make it to 100 years. And uh, what's really cool about it is Wallace was stood up as a result of where Langley was going with aerodynamic research in the early days. Except for when you want to go into the water over here, because we're on the other side of the pool, right? So, um, but I think with having all these people around, we're testing that one about once every two weeks. About two or three full scale tests a year. Uh, two minutes in, 120 seconds in, the solid rocket boosters fall away. So these are shuttle heritage, but we've added a fifth, fifth segment. So the side of this and sort of more of the shape, and that would... Uh, 
So you can see the picture here. You can see that there's the rest of the rocket. If I put this tool in front of it, what do you see? I see light. This material is a high strength aluminum, so when it does deform like that, it can stretch a hundred times more easily. Yeah, that's number 14 welding glass. There's a nice one up at the top. 